Are you thinking about selling your home or your investment property? Why not save on the selling agent commissions? There's a lot of talk of whether you need a buyer's agent or not, but I think we should question whether you need a selling agent and can you sell the property yourself in Australia's property market? The first big question is how much money can you potentially save? So let's break that down. The mean dwelling price here in Australia at this point in time is $912,700. And the average sales agent commission sits between 1.6% and 2.5% for most of Australia's states. So based on the average selling price and an average sales commission of say 2% plus GST, so 2.2%, the amount of sales commission you could save in selling your own home or your own investment property could be something like $20,079.40. Now that's all well and good, Luke, but I have no idea how to sell my home myself. Well, you're in luck. I've actually sold three properties and even sold properties before I had my real estate license. And yes, it is legal to sell your own home. So we'll talk you through how you can actually potentially list, sell and save your commission and get yourself the best price possible when selling your own home or your investment property. Now, the first property that I actually helped sell was my childhood home, helping my parents sell that property and reducing the sales commission. There is a little bit of work involved. Of course, you can't get anything for free and so you have to do some work to actually sell your own home. So what are the steps involved? The first thing is getting the property ready for sale. That means tidying up the home. Now in terms of my childhood home, that meant doing some painting, upgrading some fixtures and fittings in the bathrooms, uh, upgrading the kitchen bench tops, doing the basics to present the home in a neat and tidy manner, ready for sale. Once your home is prepped for sale, then you can move to staging. Now I think staging is critical in this day and age. Everything's going digital. You can get digital furniture, you know, everyone's looking at photos online, but nothing beats being there in person and having physical furniture in each of the spaces. Now you don't need to deck out the entire home. We've used a company on all of our recent fit outs called Sell in Style. They're amazing. So for two to three and a half thousand dollars, you can fit out an entire home. It covers the master bedroom and a number of the living spaces and the kitchen and outdoor areas. And this will give the home a much better look and feel. It also really helps the people who don't have the imagination to see how the spaces would be to actually live in. And if you pick the right size furniture for the space, it really presents the home in the best light. So get the home ready by renovating or updating as required, then move to staging. Now, once you've got your staging, you need to get a great photographer. The great thing about photography is it's only gonna set you back around two to $400 to get a floor plan, to get about 10 to 30 photos of the property ready for your online listing. Now you're almost ready to sell, so you need to engage a solicitor. So once you've engaged a solicitor, say you're planning on selling your own home yourself. It's perfectly legal here in Australia to sell your own property without a licensed real estate agent. The way this is typically done is you would do your negotiations via email if possible or over the phone. So the way this would work with the solicitor is they would hold the trust money for the sale. So when you take a deposit, it would go into the lawyer's trust account because you don't have a real estate agent and a real estate trust account to hold that initial deposit. The solicitors will be able to help walk you through the process of selling your own home or your own investment property. So it's important to engage them fairly early in the piece when you're getting ready to make the sale. So we've renovated the home, we've staged the property, we've taken photos and we've engaged a solicitor. Now it's time to get the property on the market. You wanna make sure you're on all the big platforms. You wanna be on realestate.com, you wanna be on domain. And how much is that going to cost? So let me show you exactly how you can do it. So you wanna to go to propertynow.com.au and this website will allow you to list on realestate.com and domain for your online listing. The great thing about this website is it gives you the control, like you're the sales agent for your very own home. And so you can write the description, you can upload the photos, give your property a title and set a price. Now I think the biggest thing that concerns a lot of Australians, whether they're selling their own home or the investment property is the negotiations. How do I handle the negotiation and how do I price my property? So it's important to do your research. Look at the comparable sales in your area that have sold in the last three to six months. How do those recent sales stack up against your property and come up with a realistic price of where you see value? Now the way we've sold the properties, you know, we've sold several properties now using property now and using all those 
steps to get the property ready for sale. The way we priced these properties was doing the research and setting a clear price in our mind of where we saw value. So I'll give you an example. For that first sale when my parents were selling our childhood home, we worked out the value at that point in time was around $800,000. So the market strategy was to initially list the property as for sale now. So we didn't put a price online. In the back end of property now, you do need to put a price, which is can be hidden in that case. And so we put 799,000 in the back end of property now. So when people were searching in realestate.com or domain, anything over 750,000, the property would pop up. Now that price is not shown to the wider market. 799,000 is in the back end of property now, but the price online was listed as for sale now. Now the general strategy was to see the feedback from the market. And when people came through the open home, you tell them the price is in the low to mid 800s. So the strategy from there is if you weren't able to get a bite in the first few weeks of selling the property, then you could put a price up online of say offers over $799,000 and put a clear price online. The reason you wouldn't start with a price in the first three to four weeks is to see if you can get a higher offer. Hello. So why on earth would you want to go through all this of selling your own home or selling your investment property? It's to save on that commission. There's $20,000 on the table and your ability to add value through the process. You can handle the staging, you can handle the online listing, you can handle the lawyers. It's all relatively straightforward if you follow the steps. Platforms like Property Now make it very easy to sell your home yourself online these days. And as long as you follow the steps, you can always hire a sales agent if you feel like you're out of your depth. So it's been worth it for us selling multiple properties using these steps. We've saved tens of thousands in sales agent commissions, and you don't need a real estate license to sell your own home or your own investment. Follow the steps, and if you get into trouble, you can always hire a sales agent. It's not the end of the world. I think it's worth having a crack. That's the Australian mentality. Have a crack, have a go, try and sell the property yourself, and then you could always hand it over to someone else if you're not happy with how the process is going. There's always been a lot of talk of whether you need a buyer's agent when it comes to buying a property, but I also think it's valid to stress test whether you think you need a selling agent when selling your own home or investment. If you're interested in gaining more real estate knowledge and building a property portfolio, head over to purposeproperty.com.au and click on course. There's a course there for under $500 called Invest With Purpose. And the course is designed to teach people about building a multi-million dollar property portfolio to create more choices in your life. So if you're interested in buying the course, head over to purposeproperty.com.au Click on course and pick it up for under $500. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.